Just wanted to talk to you a little bit about what I've been up to. So I'm still working on these take action plans. Uh, and this presentation is called Take Action Plans uh, with Tax. Uh, let's get right into it. So the first thing I want to explain is why I did this. So in our community, we have a lot of events, three to four a week, everything from breweries, distilleries, restaurants, who put together uh, a, uh, small events that help nonprofits take action, whether that's gather donations, gather particip participation, whatever it might be. Uh, these three to four week don't even include the, the rallies and actual fundraising events that nonprofits in my community currently host. Um, or attend, I should say. Um, so my story uh, is about a Community Monday event. Uh, my wife and I had discussed what uh, NGO was going to be at the event before attending. We decided we were going to make a donation. Uh, we showed up at the event, uh, got a beer, talked with some folks, and the ask never happened. We never wrote the check. And uh, so this is an effort to try to uh, go ahead and uh, get individuals <clears throat> who attend these events engaged in action plans. So my solution uh, for gathering actions, connections, and donations are what I call reusable programmable information cards or TAC cards, uh, take action cards. So <clears throat> we use the power uh, that we carry around with us in our smartphones uh, as our identity uh, to do this. And so the other reason that I did this is there's just too many good organizations out there that just help one. So hopefully this has an opportunity to help all of the ones um, that are, are able to use this technology. Uh, so this is an example of a take action card. It has three main components. It has the why we exist the how to connect with us and the ask. And so these would be printed and distributed for in this example of a community event uh, in, and distributed in the bar on bar tables where individuals could scan these QR, these QR codes or these NFC chips, type in these URLs and find out how to better uh, take action for the organization that's uh, being hosted at the event. So what you're going to see in the demo are NFC uh, tag scans uh, that can be read by a range of mobile devices. These can be programmed in seconds uh, and can do everything from SMS text messaging to emails to phone calls to web page openings, phone app opening integration, you name it, it could pretty much be done on your phone. The dynamic QR codes, um, they can be scanned with mobile uh, scanning device scanners. Uh, they can do things like open web pages, phone app integration, etc. And then finally, for those um, who just want to type in a URL, the web address uh, will be on the page uh, uh, on the card as well. So this is the demo. Uh, I'm going to flip over here. Uh, you'll see my phone here. Uh, in the middle, this is the uh, this is the take action card that would be, for example, sitting uh, at the event, uh, maybe again at the um, bar table, wherever. Um, and these are the individual tags that I'll, uh, that I'll be scanning. Um, so let's go ahead and, and close all of them. The first one I'm going to scan is the why we exist. You can see this is a nice uh, scan because it opens directly up uh, to the friendship center. Uh, empty bowl uh, charity event and you can see that it takes us to a YouTube video of the executive director so who's going to explain a little bit about where the proceeds are going to go from this event. Sure. Um, we serve roughly a thousand people a year. Um, we have a, a demand that, that is not slowing. Um, and so here you can see <clears throat> a, a message of why the organization exists. It can be very uh, visual uh, with this example of a YouTube uh, scan. The next one that we're going to scan is the uh, how to connect with us. So when we scan that, you'll see uh, it's going to open us up to a Facebook uh, event page. So we go ahead and click on that in our phone. Uh, you'll see Facebook comes up. I'm already logged in. I can say whether I'm interested, whether I'm going. I can get more information about the Friendship Center. I can comment. I can do anything that I would normally do in Facebook. So there's a lot of power there. We can also do that with posts, with groups, and with uh, uh, pages. So the last one is the ask. So this scan is probably the most powerful because it's what drives funds to nonprofits. This is set up with a, a site called Donately. Um, this is not... Uh, 
The Friendship Center isn't set up with them currently, but this is just an example of what it would look at like. I could see the Donate Now button uh, for this, this project or this group. I can make the donation a one-time donation or reoccurring. I can click on uh, the credit cards, use my stored credit cards, um, put in my name and click Donate Now and be done. So this is a way that I could have made a donation had this been available. Um, the other way that we can uh, interact with these, uh, again, are uh, through the barcode scanner. So if I, I scan the barcode of how to contact with us, you can see a web address comes up. When I choose that, um, the web page is going to be uh, displayed either in Facebook or in Chrome. If I choose Facebook and I say open it in Facebook, you'll see that I'm logged into Facebook. I can interact with the post for this event, again, by saying whether I'm going, sharing it with friends, etc. cetera. Um, so uh, here you can see um, that the scans can be just as powerful as the NFC uh, tabs. Uh, is one thing I want to show you is, uh, for example, if we go ahead and write down, um, I'm going to load a profile into uh, for an email example on this how to contact us. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down to the contact us tag. Now that it's written, you can see that I'm going to close all my apps here. When that's scanned, I can automatically open an individual's email account with a to address this one happens to be a Planned Parenthood address I can say subscribe uh, so if this was a listserv I'd automatically pick up this individual and they would be connected to my organization no transcribing emails into lists any of that stuff um, so you can see there's a lot and that can be done with SMS messages that can be done a whole host of ways so you can see the power um, of the tool and if this was available for individuals to scan it they as they wished, um, it could be very powerful. Um, so moving forward, so what does it cost and what's next? So I'm going to purchase 20 of these tags, these laminated sheets, these programmable ones, uh, and create them. Um, my time is your donation. So as long as I believe, I'm happy to participate with setting this up for nonprofits in the area. Uh, the dynamic QR codes can be changed remotely. Uh, but I have to actually scan, uh, uh, I'm sorry, uh, write down the NFC, the new NFC tags for each event. So those can just be returned to me. It takes two seconds. I write them back down. It's ready to go for the next event. Uh, I can expect 20 of these cards to be ready uh, by the, 20, the 10th of February um, 2017. Uh, hopefully for something like the uh, Paint the Town Pink event that the Florence Crittenden uh, nonprofit is is putting on uh, and hopefully get generate some action plans for them uh, at the event by putting these on tables, etc. Um, so will this actually work? Um, had I had a card like this on Community uh, Monday in front of me, I would have clearly scanned the ask or made the donation that I wanted to make at the time. So this is a way for people to uh, to again take action without. Uh, feeling pressured uh, by talking to someone or that can simply be information on a table at an event uh, that they can interact with using their phone. Um, so I'm going to leave you with a TAC FAC. Uh, these are just some questions that I had. You can feel free to read these. Um, look forward to interacting and working with nonprofits in the area so that we can start generating some solid action plans and gathering both actions uh, contacts and donations for them. Thanks and have a great day.